Lately, China has arisen as a worldwide forerunner in the creation and reception of electric vehicles, supporting a progress towards cleaner and more feasible transportation. Be that as it may, an unanticipated outcome of this quick development is presently becoming evident. A huge number of electric vehicles are being disposed of and left to decay in scrapyards and parking garages the nation over. This peculiarity brings up critical issues about the maintainability and future bearing of the EV business in China. Sharing organizations that left business when you take a gander at these alleged EV burial grounds regardless of in which city of China they're found, they generally have several things in normal. For instance, these electric vehicles have tags which show they were enlisted once. Also, they're typically painted in something similar variety and frequently incorporate something like a two or three models, which demonstrates that they were purchased via vehicle sharing organizations. That is precisely the exact thing occurred vehicle sharing organizations with the first enormous EV clients once upon in a time at that point when EVs were a fresh out of the plastic new thing. It was difficult to persuade individuals to make such a revolutionary switch. So, the public authority chose to support the business development by giving vehicle sharing organizations gigantic sponsorships for electric vehicles. Unexpectedly, EVs became necessary pieces of their armada that if you check out at Insights from the early EV days, the greater part of the buys were finished by these organizations. Instances of private EV clients were intriguing in any case that had an enormous effect on the underlying development of the EV section. The quick development was essential, yet it left numerous losses since once the Chinese government quit giving enormous impetuses to vehicle sharing organizations, the majority of them went out of business. These organizations didn't get an opportunity to re-establish their armadas, and since we discussed the beginning phase of SAP, there's compelling reason need to make sense of how every one of those got obsolete in only a couple of years and presently are basically unusable. Once upon a time, the Chinese government was firmly not entirely set in stone to turn into a prevailing power in the EV portion. It was giving gigantic backing to essentially every EV organization since the models was amazingly low for all intents, and purposes generally that those organizations seemed expected to satisfy was to meet certain reach prerequisites, which were typically something like 62 miles the second more convoluted necessity was to sell a specific number of vehicles back in the day. There were 500 EV new companies listed in China, so it's reasonable that it was difficult for the greater part of them to find an adequate number of clients. It was the ideal opportunity for an coordinated conspire and by which involved vehicle sharing organizations, who turned into the fundamental clients. However, it was clear that such a state can't stand the test of time everlastingly a couple of years after the fact, once the entirety industry stood up the public authority turned out to be less liberal, with its help from that second turned out to be evident that most of these EV new companies would leave business in light of the fact that their plans of action weren't practical, not just that their EVs weren't especially greater either, so that large number of EVs offered a vehicle to sharing organizations were scarcely determined rapidly enough. They became obsolete with uncompetitive rage and execution. So the main bearing they could go to was the alleged EVs Memorial Parks number three. Driving up EV framework today, China isn't simply the biggest EV creator on the planet. However, additionally, by a wide margin, the greatest EV market with almost 9 million electric vehicles sold just somewhat recently, obviously such great development, wouldn't be imaginable without satisfactory foundation. This implies that the Chinese government needed to sort out some way to keep the two viewpoints of the EV business developing at something very similar pace. That was everything except a simple assignment, since making a maintainable EV framework requires a decent charging organization, yet to construct a charging organization. You really want a certain number of electric vehicles, so charging organizations can bring in cash. It's sort of an endless loop, so the Chinese specialists needed to meditate to get things moving. This indeed brings us to vehicle sharing organizations. Those were the first significant purchasers of electric vehicles, and the public authority deliberately forfeited the greater part of them just to support the cycle that would make China a worldwide EV force to be reckoned with, 
to that, multitude of EVs that ultimately wound up in symmetries served to drive up the infrastructural improvement Chinese specialists forfeited in numerous vehicle-sharing organizations, as well as numerous EV producers thinking about that 80% of EVs New businesses previously left business, their commitment to the improvement of Chinese EV foundation was immense and subsequently numerous. Chinese urban communities These days have such a created framework that taxi organizations depend mostly on EVs. Additionally, they don't even charge their EVs on the grounds that rather than charging stations. They presently use battery trading stations where machine calls out the drain battery and introduces a charged one number two. It's less expensive to purchase. Another EV that didn't fix it is here is another motivation behind why EV burial grounds are getting greater in particular with regards to the advantages of electric vehicles. You can frequently hear how they're easier and accordingly less expensive to run Potential breakdowns alongside some average support activity, like liquid changes, caused us to accept that possessing an EV is, as a matter of fact, modest or less expensive. However, the truth is different. Regardless of whether breakdowns are uncommon, which we don't know about getting an EV fix, can be a really costly thing. This especially alludes to the Chinese EVs market, where, as we have recently referenced, so numerous EVs organizations have left business. So, there isn't precisely specialized help for possible fixes, spare parts, train experts, every one of those things are missing. So, it doesn't shock that numerous proprietors rather pick to supplant old EVs with new ones in most cases. That is very a less expensive choice, particularly assuming we discuss fixes after impacts since even minor crash can harm basic parts like battery lodgings, and afterward, fixes can cost a genuine fortune. What's additionally intriguing is that this isn't simply common for China precisely, the same thing is occurring in America. We can as of now see film that show junkyards brimming with Tesla models, the vast majority of them are scarcely harmed, which shows that proprietors essentially don't have any desire to waste time with costly and time-consuming fixes, typically cost a fortune, and the absence of prepared specialists is one of the primary reasons that is likewise an explanation why EV fixes normally require weeks, if not longer by, and large EV fixes are a very excruciating cycle, even protection houses know that so rather than squandering their sources and fixes, they rather pick benefits even in instances of generally minor harms. Obviously, this causes a sort of chain response where protection charges on EVs have become fundamentally higher, contrasted with ICE vehicles, which just made the whole as far as running costs much greater number one market oversaturation. A large number of EVs are spoiling ceaselessly in China, and as per the most recent reports, it's not just about deserted obsolete electric vehicles created a long time back, even new electric vehicles are frequently sentenced to spoil away. Since the market is oversaturated, the issue with Chinese EVs creators is that they actually have it extended to Western business sectors, despite the fact that China is by far the greatest EV producer on the planet. What are your views on China throwing away thousands of electric vehicles? Do share with us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.